Yo, welcome back to another video, guys, here at Car Dude Garage, where car things happen. You know how it goes. You know. Today, I finished cleaning out the bed of the S10. It's completely empty. What I want to go ahead and try and get done is <clears throat> I want to get the EK forward as much as I can. I got a lot of garbage. Um, fold this ladder up. But first, I'm going to close out the attic, pick up all the garbage here, whatever's in my way, and get the EK up as far as forward. So I can just go ahead and flip the bed over and put it up against that wall. So I have that back space there. So compressor's gonna move all this here, this stuff here, whatever I got that's in the way to get out of my way. So I'm gonna get the bed off the S10 and try and get that bed, like the butt of the truck up or rear of the truck, however you wanna say it. Get up on jack stands, get the wheels off, and I wanna pull the rear end out of it and get the leaf springs and everything off of it. So I can clean it all up, get it nice and clean paint and stuff like that. I can start doing the disc brake stuff. It'll be easier to service it out of the truck. And I got all the bushings for the leaf springs and everything, so I want to go ahead and get those put in too. So let's stop talking. Let's move some stuff. Look at this is all the leafs that were in the bed of the truck. So like I said, I'm gonna stop talking, put the camera down, and pick this up and get the EK moved forward and we'll go from there. Alright, so we got an area cleaned here. I still gotta find where we'll put the air compressor. That loud can go back to my boss. And uh, we're just going to move the EK as far forward as we can and probably as tight as we can towards the wall because we can always get in through this door because all we really need to do right now is try and start it when the time comes for that. And like I said, I want to put the bed. I'm just going to flip it straight up and then just walk it towards the wall over there and lean against the wall. All right, so we got a cab, a frame, and a diff, and a bed. We got the EK moved up, like I said. We got the bed over there leaning against the wall. <clears throat> now we can get to what we need to get to. I want to get the e-brake cables completely off the truck and the rest of the fuel lines everything like that that I don't need brake lines and get this up on jack stands if I have any because I know I have some on the record and I know Angel has some in his unit that are mine as well so I gotta see if I can find some jack stands if not then I got some steelies I put on this thing I don't care but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get her up in the air find something to put under it and then we'll start taking things apart all right guys, so we got some um, just steel rims underneath the frame of the truck. And just the wheels enough off the ground where I can take the tires off of them, have some room. <coughs> it pulled the front end up because there's no weight in here. But if I stand here, it brings it down. So I either try and see if I can get some weight to put up front to hold the front end down or just pull the wheels off. And See what happens, but yeah. So I'm gonna pull the back wheels off the truck, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys. So <clears throat> got the rims off. It actually dipped the back of the truck down more, but that's all right. That means when I disconnect the leaf springs and everything, it doesn't fall too far to the ground. So <clears throat> now I'm gonna go ahead and take <clears throat> the bolts off from the shackles up here on all four sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop the rear end some and slide it out from underneath the truck. Alright, so as you guys saw in the last clip, we get the dip out and the truck decided to go Wah! and skydive. But yo, I ain't hurt. We all Gucci. I got the dip pulled down from the truck. I had to cut the e-brake cables because I can get it off. But I'm not worried about it because we're going hydro on it anyways. But what I'm going to go ahead and do now is pull it out more as far as I can and try to flip it over so I can unbolt the U-bolts and then get the leaf spring off the diff. Then we can push the different side and we're gonna work with the leaf springs right now. Alright guys, so I was beating on that bushing right here for 20, 30 minutes and I could barely get it to budge. So what I did is I put the heat gun on it. I got one of the spindles holding it down. And I'm gonna let this sit here for a little bit, trying to heat it up. And hopefully I can beat it out. Usually you use a torch or something, and I don't have a torch. So this is my next option. 
So hopefully we can get that hot enough where we can press it all out. And we can go ahead and start getting the new ones in. So hopefully I can get all these out. But I've had this heat lamp. Heat gun. Ow! It hit my hand. <laughs> but I've literally had this heat gun on this one bushing for like 20 minutes. So I doubt I'm gonna get all this done tonight. But I at least want to try and get one out and installed, and then tomorrow we'll pick up the video and finish the rest of them, and then try and get it back in. But I smoke myself out of my own shop. It's smoky in here from that. And I don't have my fan, because, turn around so y'all can see me. And I don't have the fan, because Angel has the fan in his unit. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna let this keep going, and then I'll show you guys the updates on it, or when it's done, like out of it, and then when we start putting a new bushing in it. I'm sure you all can see in the camera how smoky it is in here. This shit sucks. <clears throat> but, the bushing is out. Ugh. Yep, there it is. That's gross. Ugh. There's still some in there, like the rubber part. So, look at that. That's gross. Um, I'm probably gonna let it run through a little more to try and burn out everything that's in it. Actually, I don't know, because I've got to pop this sleeve out, I believe, so. Yeah! I don't know if the sleeve comes out or not, so I'm going to try and clean it out and see if one of the poly ones fit in this bushing, like the sleeve in here, or if I got to take this out and then press them in. Alright guys, so I've been beating on this and stuff, but it's getting late and I don't want people around the shop that there's like houses and stuff around me to get mad for me banging at this time because like 9, 30, 10 almost. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to heat them all up, at least try and get all the bushings out of it tonight. And then tomorrow I'll get the angle grinder from Angel and we can just cut the sleeve and then they should be able to pull right out. So if this baby stop moving on me, stay like that. Add a girl. We'll go ahead and get that one burnt out and see how long that one takes. And then try and get these other ones out and then figure out how to get these ones out also. So let's let this do its thing. shouldn't have happened. Sorry. <laughs> that thing is cooking. But we should be able to pull the sleeve out of that now. Oh. And the sleeve is out. I'm getting out of the shop. It's smoking in here, look. Alright guys, so like I said, I wanted to burn them all out tonight, but I don't think I'm going to just because the smoke is so bad. Uh, I gotta wait so long after burning one out for the smoke, the smoke, uh, for the smoke and the smell to get out, which is still not out of here and it stinks really bad. So I think I'm gonna um, just stop for tonight, pick this video back up tomorrow. We'll finish burning them out, and I'll have the fan from Angel, so we can have the fan sitting up front to blow everything out, and then we get the new bushings and everything in. Like I said, I told you guys I had all energy suspension bushings for this. I had another box of other bushings for it. So we got the body bushings, we got the leaf springs, sway bars, um, the sway bar end link bushings. Um, I think that was it. Yeah, all the bushings pretty much for it. Um, so yeah, I'll pick this back up tomorrow, guys. Yo, what's up? We're back the next day. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that one burnt out. That other side burnt out right there, and that one, and this one. Get these all burnt out, and then when those are all out, I'll figure out, or cut them out, whatever we need to do to get the sleeves out, so we can get the new bushings all pushed in. Then when that's done, I'll probably, obviously, take the diff out, so we can start working on that. But the leaf spring parts will be set and ready. 
Um, I was thinking before I put the new bushings in, clean them up and paint them. <clears throat> so I might get all the sleeves and everything out, sand them up nice, paint them, let it dry, then get new bushings in so they're nice and black and matching the rest of the truck. So let's go ahead and stop talking and get to work. I'm dying in here guys. That one's out. I'm just letting it burn more of the rubber in it. Got that one going right there. I can't breathe in here. I've been sitting out at the shop while this was burning. <coughs> been just riding the bike. So I'm gonna let those finish up and then update you guys when those are out. And then we'll cut the sleeves out, knock those out. Then I want to scuff up the leaf springs, like I said. I'll probably take them off the uh, the rear end clean them nice you know scrub them down sand them down whatever needs to be done and then get them painted and when they dry up we'll put the bushings in it all right guys so it's been a couple days since i messed with the s10 um i just don't have a grinder or anything angel hasn't came out here so i haven't really worried about it yes i got my hair braided i got a haircut i know i look good it's all right but um been messing with the ek off camera and we're getting a spark now so we're going to attempt to try and start it, but I don't want to start it without you guys. So the fuel pump's still not kicking on, but we're getting a spark. So what I'm going to do is spray starter fluid right here with you guys on camera. Open the throttle, and we're going to try and start it. Didn't work. Okay. Keep digging around, because we're getting a spark. So it should be starting. Let's see. All right, guys, here we go. But holy shit, it stinks. I'm gonna get out of here. I'll be back. All right, guys. So I know this started off as a video on the S10 and everything. Um, I really want to finish this, but I don't want to drag this video on any longer. It's already been a few, like four, three, four days since I posted the last video, just because uh, I didn't have a lingo grinder. Mine is messed up. Angel has the only one, and I was being a cheap ass and didn't want to buy a new one. So Angel might be coming out here today. If so, then we'll pick up the next video. I'm finishing up the rear end on this and getting it all in the truck not in the truck but the leaf springs done and the bushings up here done but yo we got work done on the s10 we got the ek to start we heard the turbo we heard it starting we're getting spark um we used the buddy's ecu and it got started uh, still not getting a fuel pump i don't know why i'll look into it if worse comes to worse i'll put it on a switch i really don't care it's not a daily driver it's a car to just beat up around town and take to the track and make content with so it was a budget build kind of thing. So, yo, smash the like button. We got the EK to start. Smash the like button because we're working on the S10. Smash the like button because we're about to hit 2,200 subs. Smash the like button because I got a haircut. Smash the like button because I asked you guys to. And you guys are awesome followers, you know? So thank you for us subbing, everybody. Thank you for liking these videos for me. Thank you for commenting and talking to me about stuff. And everybody who's helped me through the journey of trying to get the EK to start. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate it. But I'm going to close this video out now so I can get a video out for you guys so you guys can see this. Not just hear me talking about it. But he, see it happening while I'm doing the next thing for you guys. So thank you for subscribing. And like always, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.